Well, somebody's desperate for attention. And it's not even me this time. Hello, everyone. I am still... Mecha Random 42, the one, the only, the original, still your favorite YouTube consumer advocate, Harpy. Where are we harping on today? Uh, a couple of people. All right. I gotta, I gotta get some backup on this one. Who are you? Why are you here? <laughs> Hi, I'm Rob Robot Shlomo, and um, I'm starting to get Stockholm Syndrome, so... <laughs> a little bit. Uh, so we're talking about these two people that are on screen from this picture from Variety. I can't show you the article even because I guess one of them did a bad thing and the other one's so desperate for attention right now that they're like, please, please, please pay attention to me. Please, please, please. I need work. I guess. Is that is that what we're talking about? Is that uh, Am I reading it right? Pretty, or are you just going to they're going to cancel me for that one? Yeah, they're going to cancel me too. Ray Fisher accuses Josh Whedon of mm, unprofessional behavior on the Justice League set. Actor Ray Fisher, who plays Cyborg, actually, uh, accused director Joss Whedon of gross, uh, unprofessional behavior and completely unacceptable behavior uh, on the set of the 2017 film Justice League in a tweet that quickly went viral on Wednesday. Fisher also claimed in his tweet on Wednesday that the former Warner Brothers co-president of production, John Berg, and former DC Entertainment president and chief creative officer Jeff Johns both enabled Whedon's alleged behavior on Justice League. Berg and Johns also served as producers on Justice League, and the film's poor performance factor uh, was a factor in both executives exiting their positions, leading DC films, uh, as leading yeah, DC studio films. Fisher offered no corroboration for his claims and attempts to reach his representatives. Uh, here you go for further clarification. What an went unanswered? So you you just put this out there and for said, attention. Ha, I sure told them." And most likely his representative said, oh, God, what is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, there was a clip of him next to Jason Momoa at a Comic-Con panel somewhere where he's like, I stand by this guy 100 percent. And Jason Momoa is just sitting there all awkward, mm. an awkward silence. Fisher offered no corroboration. Uh, Whedon had no comment. Representative for Warner Brothers did not immediately respond to a request for comment. When reached for comment on Wednesday afternoon, Berg told Variety that it was categorically untrue that we enabled any unprofessional behavior i remember fisher being upset that we wanted him to say booyah which is a well-known well-known saying for Cy cyborg in the animated series berg added <laughs> uh okay the ray fisher joss whedon's onset treatment of the cast and crew of justice league was gross because we can't say that word unprofessional it begins with an a and it has a v in there yeah so <laughs> He was enabled in many ways by Jeff Johns and John Berg, accountability greater than entertainment. Whedon, the director of Marvel Studios' blockbuster superhero, The Avengers, and Avengers of Ultron, took over directing duties for extensive additional photography on DC Comics, yada, yada, yada. Uh, blah, 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 blah. The resulting film mixed the negative reviews. Okay, you know, Fisher had hinted at friction with Whedon earlier this week when he tweeted a clip from Justice League panel at 2017 Comic Con, that's probably what you're talking. That's about. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Which you praise filmmaker as a great guy, and that Snyder picked a good person to come in and clean up and finish for him. I'd like to take a moment to forcefully retract every bit of this statement. Fisher tweeted. <sighs> it sounds like it sounds like someone's NDA and non disparagement clause is up, and it sounds like someone who is taking advantage of the current situation trends. and what yeah. trends in social media to get his name out into the into the uh into the ether if you will mm -hmm. uh okay you listen we talked about this a little on after dark and what yeah. was the last thing he did he was in like an episode of something he barely gets any work mm -hmm. possibly due to the fact that justice league was kind of one of those divisive movies where you had half the people liking it half the people didn't like it so <sighs> many people hated it that they wanted the snyder cut they didn't like all the reshoots they didn't yeah, like all of the and yeah, and in in my in my opinion, Ray Fisher's greasing the tracks for himself. He's trying he's trying to take advantage of the current situation, what's going on in Hollywood, what's going on in social media, uh, because hey, why not? You know, never Attention. let a good yeah, never let a good crisis go to waste, as mm -hmm. the saying goes. <laughs> Here's the thing: uh, directors can't be difficult to work with. Uh, is someone can someone be a jerk on set? Yes. Does that mean they're a horrible human being? 
Not necessarily. I'm wondering if he's just one of these kind of new modern day today people who, if you say, like, like this video, for example, somebody's going to say, oh, you're attacking him. You're attacking him. Why are you attacking him? Why are you harassing him? I'm making a video about somebody I don't know and don't care about and I'm probably never going to go and see a movie of, of either of these two, actually, of Joss Whedon or this guy because they're attached to it i mean if they're in it and happen to be in it and it happens to be a movie but no neither of these two are gonna put my butt in a seat so <laughs> i'm not i'm not invested let's just say enough to you, actually you, go out there and harass or attacking me, attacking me. but that's what, what? T- today people do they have this snowflake little mentality where if somebody says something bad and and here's where something's gonna happen where oh yeah he, he socked him on set or something popped him in the face then then people are gonna come after me and say you said he was just trying for your attention well with the facts that we have right now and the information we have right now that's what it seems like to me nobody has no i nobody has stepped forward and say oh yeah this is true nobody's gotten back from comment nobody either they're either they're trying to let it blow over or ray fisher is not being 100 percent honest with us here's the thing i've had bosses that were jerks but you know what? You 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 shut your mouth. You be professional. You work hard. Mm. You know you, you know what the best way to get a a, a a a boss that's being a jerk off your back is to do your job well. That's all. Don't give attitude. That's- don't give lip. See, this reminds me of today people like these modern day young people who come into a job all the time. And I'm just I'm just I'm really really leaping and doing a lot of conclusion hopping and stuff. But you get the young people in there, and if a boss asks you to do something, they say, "Oh, why are you so mean to me? You're just attacking. You're why why are you coming down on me so hard? Why are you so mean mm-hmm. to me? Because I'm you're paid to do a job." <laughs> So I'm wondering if that's the case. I'm just speculating here. I have no idea. I wasn't there, obviously. How old is Ray Fisher? He looks young. That's the thing. And that's why I'm assuming, Mm. based on his age, that he looks like he's probably under 30. He's for sure under 30. He can't be more than 27. He's 32. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. So I'm wrong on that one. Jason Momoa is is 40. I Mm -hmm. mean, so you have like a... I don't know if I call Ray Fisher millennial, but oh Joss yeah, thirty is right there in the millennial <clears throat> thing, especially like yeah. five years ago when he was making this. But hmm. well, uh, three years ago, oh, but it, I don't remember that, when Justice that's, that's, came. That's out, beside <laughs> the point. This is not going to do anything for you, Ray. Come on. Well, maybe it will. I mean, you got enough people who are like, I take responsibility. It, and I am responsible for You know you know, let me cookies. tell you something. Somebody <laughs> somebody the people have the right to be a jerk. Okay. If someone's an a-hole, they have a right to be an a-hole <laughs> as long as they're not breaking any laws. I'm sorry, Ray, but you know what? Your feelings <laughs> don't supersede someone's uh, someone's right to, you know, not not like you or or to or to be just to be a jerk there's always going to be people you don't get along with at a job always i guarantee you anytime you have co-workers yeah you're gonna oh, yeah. Get, oh, yeah. you and i can't oh, stand oh, yeah. each other oh yeah joe that guy's an a-hole don't don't bo- i don't bother with him that's all that's but all. you never know. He might have had something really, really horrible. <clears throat> Joss Whedon <clears throat> might have done something really. We don't know right now. We, we know, know there's other crap know. that he's done with his wife and all that stuff. And that's not even what we're talking about here. And that's not even related to this. But according to this, I've not heard a whole lot of unprofessional stuff about Joss Whedon on the set as far as actors go. Except he did have Jason Momoa being there, like super uncomfortable. Like, I'm not saying anything. Yeah, I mean, Joss is a great guy. And Zach picked a good person to come in and, and uh, clean up and finish up for him. <laughs> for the rest of our time what's your name or question hello I-, I love that i love that body language of jason momoa there i really really love that he's just sitting there just completely yeah. silent he's like, i absolutely love that yeah yeah he's like, yeah 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 whatever you say Ray. whatever you say whatever you say man what you jason say? momoa is so cool but i remember him from stargate atlantis that's how far back with jason momoa stuff i go you know mid uh, but really you're sing you're singing this guy's praises and then now you're you're saying now you're changing a, your mind now he's, he, now he's a cretin. Now he's a creep. 
You know, I mean, come on. Uh, it's something, something's not right with this. I got a feeling more. The, there's more to this story. It's going to come out within a couple of days. Well, we were speculating on the on the stream earlier. Does, might this have something to do with all the Warner HBO Snyder cut stuff behind the scenes where he's just trying to get in I, with whatever side he thinks is going to bread I his butter so. in the future, maybe? I think so. I think he's got... I, I think he's angling uh, to get in to get into this Zack Snyder camp here, or to get on to to get on the mm. AT and T side with the with the Snyder with the Snyder cut uh, faction. So he's hang- angling for that rather than the uh, the Warner Brothers side, you know. Yeah, I really yeah. wish he would have just left it as I want to retract this. And then not gone on with all these allegations of how horrible Joss Whedon was to him. I mean, and if something, I don't want to sound cruel or mean, if something really, really did happen on set and it does come out in the future and it is proven to be true, then of course, Joss Whedon is a, you know, whatever. But we don't know yet. So we're just only speculating what's happened right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got anything so more to add to this? <laughs> <laughs> no, like I said, Ray, I think Ray, you're greasing, you're trying to grease the tracks for yourself, I think. You know, yeah, that's maybe. my opinion. And that's you know, my opinion. Best of luck to you. Hopefully you have a nice yeah. long career in Hollywood and get everything that's coming to you. So tell us what you guys <laughs> think. In- or, or maybe or maybe you'll have a miserable short career. Who knows? Hey, people get what they deserve, <laughs> right? Tell me what you think in the comment section below. I am Becca Random 42 And I am um somebody. <laughs> You're not Iron Man, that's for sure. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.